Hey people, welcome back to Lockjaw. Once again. Okay, today I've got a special dish for you guys. It's the first steam dish that we've done on the channel. Uh, and it's called Wuxiang Mi Fen Ji Rou. And that means five spice rice powdered chicken. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about with this dish is the marinade. Uh, and tonight we're doing it over about 45 minutes, but if you really, really wanna make this dish taste like spectacular, you wanna leave the marinade overnight. So uh, let's get into the ingredients. Let's get into the chicken, the chicken marinade uh, that we're gonna do. Uh, okay, so we've got two chicken thighs. Uh, we have sea salt, white pepper, uh, soya sauce, which is in a, which is like at a level of three, okay? Chinese cooking wine at a level of one, sugar at one, brown sugar that is, one of chicken stock, one of the sweet fermented bean paste, and about 1.5 of the fermented chili bean paste. Also here, uh, we just basically have ginger, sliced ginger with the skin still on, and sliced spring onion greens. Okay, so getting into the marinade. Uh, so basically, we're gonna start with our two chicken thighs. And uh, like I said before, uh, remember that if you, if you have the time, if you have the time the night before you make this dish, uh, you really, really, really uh, want to marinate it one night before. Okay, so basically you're just going to take the two, two chicken thighs, just lay them out flat. Um, the traditional way is to leave the skin on. So if you don't mind chicken skin, which I don't, okay, leave the skin on. And you're just going to cut them into bite-sized chunks like this. Right, and just cut the two thighs. If you have any sort of fatty like this, if you have your xian, xian tongue, which I don't have today, you can just throw it in there. But anyway, just like discard like this, like this type of fat. Keep cutting them down into bite-sized chunks. Make sure you don't cut them too small because you actually want sort of big juicy chunks of uh, chicken in the end. So you're basically looking like this and then that's going to go into a bowl and we start off with a little bit of sea salt okay and uh, just, a, just a touch a little bit of white pepper touch then we've got our soy sauce which was three okay so three just means because every time you make it you might be making it with, with four pieces or five pieces so it depends on the size so actually what i said um was three when we first started with the ingredients things see how i've got some left over okay but that's about how much you'd like in there okay then you're gonna go on with cooking wine okay okay then add your sugar add the chicken stock if you're using it you don't have to use it add the sweet fermented bean paste add the fermented chili bean paste take the spring onion and ginger and crush it in your hands and throw it in and then you're going to massage this into the chicken when you massage go in turn in turn the same way don't go back and forth the other way it doesn't blend the flavor as well so your marinade should end up looking kind of like this and uh like i said before in the perfect world you want to leave this for 24 hours uh, that will just bring this dishes like flavor to the next level but um, if you don't have time um, you can just do 30 minutes 45 minutes or something like that okay so get that marinade done because we want to leave this give this some time yeah okay so today i'm going to teach you guys how to make the five spice rice powder the wuxiang mi fen before we get into this five spice rice powder you're going to need a blender 
So come on over and uh, let me show you the ingredients that are involved. Okay, so to make the five spice rice powder, we've got two cups of uncooked rice, uh, dried tangerine peel, a cinnamon bark, uh, one star anise, some fennel seeds, and Sichuan peppercorns. So, uh, one thing you guys uh, must remember uh, is that when you're making the five spice rice powder, uh, you don't have to do this every time you make the dish. Okay, one time that you make like two cups of rice should be able, it should be able to last you about, I would say, five to six times of making this dish. So it's not like you have to go through this uh, five spice rice powder making process every time you want to make this dish. You just make it once. I mean, you can you can double the ingredients, double the rice, and you can make enough that will last you, you know, five months, six months if you really, really love the dish. So after that, you'll be able to make this recipe easily because all you have to do is just marinate it and then add the powder and steam it. So how we make this five spice rice powder is basically we're going to slowly cook the rice in the wok, like slowly, okay, and as, in, as in a dry cook, in a dry wok. So you want to make sure the, the main, most important point is you want to make sure there's no oil in your wok. You want your wok to be completely dry. And we're going to slowly like dry fry all of the spices and the rice together. And then after we're going to blend it. So you're going to need yourself a blender. So this process is going to be done under a low heat. All right. Uh, so get get the wok on going on low heat and uh, leave it to sit for a little little while to warm up. Okay. And once it's warmed up, put the rice in and then just add all of your spices. like this. And what you can do is you're just gonna slowly, this is the way, if you're not, if you're not good at doing the, the flipping, just turn it in and out, pull it back, drop it around. But the important thing here to remember is to keep the rice moving, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. You don't want it sitting like this for a long period of time because it'll blacken the rice. You just have to keep the spices moving within the rice. All right, so once we get down here, if you come in and you can see the rice is uh, it's kind of turning yellow. It's getting not fully yellow, but it's getting kind of like this kind of yellow. So once it gets to this stage, this is when everything is dry. Like the, this has all become very dry. So what we're going to do is, now this is, this is controversial. Some people say you should never do it. Some people say you should. But me personally, I take the cinnamon bark out because for me personally, it's added uh, enough flavor and it's just a, quite a strong flavor. If I blend it and blend the whole of the cinnamon bark in with the rest of the other spices, it, it, for me, it overpowers the flavor. So me personally, I like to, to, to like dry fry it down until it's released its flavors and then, uh, and then take it out. Okay, and then from there, take the dried fried rice with the spices and add it into your blender. Okay, so next thing is we're gonna blend it. All right, so turn the blender on. And turn it on. Make sure you mix it really, really well. Um, you think that the spices are blended, but quite often they're not. You need to really make sure you blend it well by shaking it around like this.
Okay, cool, blended. All right, so take the lid off and then add it into a bowl or add it into a container. Okay. And this is your five spice rice powder. Can you smell that, Chris? Oh yeah. Can you smell that? I can smell it. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Okay. And then obviously you can put that into a Tupperware container uh, to keep it, yeah, to store it for as long as you want. But tonight we're going to use some of this. So we're going to put it right here. So one of the most important things to remember about this dish is it's a first on wok drop. This is a steamed dish, so you're going to need a steamer. It doesn't have to be a traditional bamboo steamer. You can use your whatever steamer you use at home. Uh, it's the first steam dish that we've ever done on wok drop. Okay, so we're going to take our, our marinated chicken out of the fridge. Take the wrap off if you use wrap. Okay, and pick out, pick out the spring onion and the ginger that you used to over the marination process. Okay. Take it out throw it away. Okay, uh, and also on a garnish side of things, I usually use uh, a little bit of uh, spring onion, the white part, and a little bit of coriander, okay? Uh, you don't have to, not 100% necessary, but uh, me personally, that's what I use just to garnish it and finish it off at the end. So next we take our five spice rice powder and tip a generous amount out on a plate like this. Wow, that smells amazing. And then we start going through the chunks of chicken that we marinated and just bring them through. You don't have to cover them too crazily, but just kind of like this and onto the plate. Go through the whole bowl and just stack them, stack them in, in layers, go around and then go up and then go up, like basically make like a little mountain. So we end up looking like this. So everything's prepared. And next we move on to the steaming process. So we're gonna turn your range on full bore, okay? And we're gonna get the water absolutely bubbling, boiling hot not like a little blip 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 like full boil hot so we'll wait until this warms up so we've brought the water up to boil got a nice boil on uh, so the next process super simple take the top off put it in the steamer close it up and you want about 30 to 35 minutes uh, for chicken around about that uh, if you're a little bit worried about chicken, give yourself 40, but I think 30 to 35 minutes is good. Okay, and uh, with about 10 minutes to go, you're gonna add the spring onion whites on top and leave that uh, to steam in there with the chicken for the last 10 minutes. Our 30 minutes is up, okay? So we're just gonna take the top off our steamer, turn the heat off. Wow, that looks beautiful. Go in, make sure you have a towel when you do this because it's super hot. Take it out. And then we're just gonna just take a little bit of this coriander and just garnish it a bit. You can add more later or whatnot, but just give it a little garnish just to dress it off. And there we have it.
That's absolutely good. Absolutely. Okay, so that's Wu Xiang Bi Fan Ji Rou. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you for following this recipe right the way through to the end uh, and also I'd like to give a special thanks to all of our Patreon members. Uh, without you guys it just would not be possible to do this channel. So thanks a lot and uh, I'll catch you all in the next episode of Walk Drop. Oh and there's, there's one thing about this recipe that I forgot. Like uh, if you go down here you'll find like and then if you just go there you'll find subscribe. And then you'll see that little bell and that'll round that recipe off perfectly. See you next time on Lock Drop. Later.